All right, guys, we're gonna do another brute shoot. And today we are gonna discuss something that is near and dear to my heart. Um, this is a conversation that I have a lot of times with athletes, either via email um, or right here in a gym. And it is one where they come to me with the concern that uh, they've done everything right, right? We're, we're right now in the midst of the open. 17.3 was just released. Many athletes have already gone through it. And people are underperforming based on their expectations compared to their preparation. And the, the reason I say that is because there are a lot of people that come to me, like I said, that they, they say, coach, I've done everything the right way. I've, I've slept eight to 10 hours a night. I've, I've dialed in my nutrition. Um, I've, I've not missed a training session. When I got sick, I listened to my body and I stepped back and rested those days. I, I wasn't in the gym too much. I've just simply been lining up all my ducks in order to approach the season in the right way. And, and my goals were to make it to regionals or my goals were to X, Y, and Z, right? You name it, and you might be able to relate to this. These might be your personal goals. Now, for the sake of this conversation, I'm gonna refer to your personal goals as, as two different things, right? We've got the CrossFit Open, the regionals, the CrossFit Games, where you are on a scope where you're being compared physically, your capacity, to hundreds of thousands of other athletes, right? And then we've got this path where it can be much more internal, right? versus the external here where we're comparing ourselves to others, but that internal motivation, that internal drive where you can actually be like, hey coach, my goal is to snatch 225 by the end of this year. My goal is to run a five minute mile by the end of this year. My goal is to do a Fran in under 210 this year, right? These are goals that you can control. These goals here, no matter how fit you are, you can't do a darn thing about how I perform in the open this year, right? So if you post a score and you've been doing all the things right in the right way, but you don't know what I've been doing, right? And you guys have to keep that in mind out there that no matter what you're doing, there's always someone out there in the sports field. It doesn't matter what sport you're playing, guys. It could be CrossFit, football, basketball, baseball, soccer. It doesn't matter. There's someone out there working harder than you. They're sleeping longer than you are. They're taking their training more serious than you are. Whatever you're leaving out, they're putting in. That means those of you that are out there, the knuckleheads that don't put in the time and warm up and cool down properly, they're doing those things, okay? So when you continue to focus throughout your season, throughout your journey in becoming the fittest version of yourself or the best version of yourself in any capacity, and you're always comparing yourself to other people, you're always gonna come up short. The big picture with this is no matter how hard you try, you're always gonna feel like you're reaching for the next step or still chasing after someone because inevitably it's always gonna be true. But I want you guys to continue, finish out this open, go into the latter part of this season or wherever you're headed after the open's over, um, whether it's in preparation for next year, um, but focus more on you. Have some concrete goals, sit down with your coach. If you're a brute, email me, let's talk about it. Let's talk about where you're at now and where you wanna be. And let's celebrate the victories in us making those gains and making those improvements in our fitness in the absence of where we fall amongst other athletes.